Our sourdough starters is something that my grandpa started when he came over from Germany. That technique and that idea and process is still going today. Our father always wanted to own his own business. They started a very small bakery in Delhi. It was German based. And they would back the truck up to the bakery and they would have like a little bed for me. I was managing a shift by the age of 16. My sister and I fell into the areas that we were meant to be in. In 1997 is when my brother and I talked my parents into retiring. Derek is an incredible master baker. Her sense of business and money, she's amazing that way. We are a wholesale bakery. Our primary customer base is all restaurant, delis, resorts. Schools, hotels, hospitals. Small chefs have amazing ideas. They'll call me and say, hey, I've got this concept, let's work together. We create new flavors, new techniques. We have a lot of foodies in the bakery. We take a lot of people's input when we're creating a new product. We have over 600 SKUs. All natural, clean labels. The market changes constantly and we're always trying to bring up new items. That's the fun part of it. Equipment management has become a big portion of my job. We were probably spending about 5,000 a month trying to just keep our old mixers going. We were having too many breakdowns. On the hamburger bun line, we were struggling to keep up. We don't get to say, oh, today we're not gonna make this product. That's not an option. Trying to find companies that can service the middleman, it's hard to find. You wanna push it in and you want repetitive dough every single time, because then when you go to the roll line, right. you have the same dough every single time. WP had by far the best product for our need. They came in and asked us, hey, what is it that you need? Well, we'll make it for you. Well, they take all of these specifications that I'm wanting and they start sending drawings back and forth and it's like this custom piece of equipment. The flexibility of the equipment, being able to do different types of products. You get a much better turnout, a much more consistent product, a much safer product because you aren't having so much of a hands-on. I went from using six employees to do the volume that I'm now using two employees cut down the hours of production time, it leaves an extra hour or two that day that I could be producing something else. It's amazing savings. It pays for itself within a couple of years. The mix time with the dual spiral is less than half the time. So I'm able to produce more dough weight with two mixers than I was able to produce with three single spiral mixers. The consistency of the mix is better because it's a shorter development time, which creates less room for error. You can do anything you want with these computer systems. You can stop the mix, you can raise the head, you can add fruit, you can add different grains. When you go into a restaurant, table bread or something like that, it's the first thing that goes out on a table. The first impression of a restaurant is the first thing you're going to put in your mouth. I know what all my breads taste like. They're like my child. I created them. When you do something and you're good at it, you enjoy it. Bakery business, it takes all of your energy, all of your time, and I haven't regretted it since. My name is Tammy. I'm Derek with Stoneground Bakery out of Salt Lake City, Utah, and I'm a raving fan of WP.